Hi, could you please give me your name? Where you come from or where you work? Hello, yes, uh, my name's Anne Tober and I work um, here in Great Manchester Coalition for Defender Seaport and I'm actually working on the right to control project. Thank you. Um, I was just wondering whether you could give me an idea of what access means to you. Access uh, to me can mean so many things that none of us can really fully understand the whole picture. But access is about um, ensuring that everything is accessible, as accessible as possible for everybody. Thank you. You touched on accessibility there. If we were to look at access in the general sense, would you say access is or is used differently than the term accessibility? Yes, because I think um, to say the word access is actually quite easy, but if you look at the accessibility of, say, uh, buildings or courses or processes or information, you're beginning to look at it in a little bit more detail. And I think that's what needs to be looked at when people talk about access, because it can be access for a wheelchair user get into a building, it could mean access for a person with a hearing impairment, being able to hear uh, what's being said at meeting, it could be access to information, if I'm a visually impaired person, how am I going to read um, printed documents. You've actually took from the next question, because I was going to ask for a few examples. So thank you, but um, diverting away from my question, could you perhaps give me a few examples um, where, where your access or accessibility needs to be met? Yes, uh, certainly Sebastian, although I, as you know I'm currently working for the um, coalition, but uh, prior to that I worked in Trafford Council and within that um, employment I discovered the big secret about access to work which uh, support disabled people's employment. So my access needs were assessed and I was um, recommended to get a mobile phone that has got um, volume control so I wasn't struggling uh, ordinary mobile phone I really struggling here with. Um, a, an amplifier on my phone, so when I lift the phone I'm not nervous in, in case I can't hear, I'm confident because I, I know I can hear. And another great um, piece of technology is, is, is a loop system, uh, my own portable loop system, which um, enables me to hear uh, so long as it's used properly uh, in meetings. Thank you. Hi, could you please give me, me your full name and who you work for and where you from, from please? Uh, my name is Brett Savage, I'm a youth participation worker for the uh, Including Young Disabled People project, uh, which is a project run by the Great Manchester Coalition of Disabled People. Thank you. What does access mean to you? I think access in its basic. Uh, meaning really is just to be able to get to things uh, to, to access them so it's about uh, being able to uh, reach reach things get to places uh, get into places uh, get hold of things get hold of information uh, things being understandable things being um, uh, e easy to get Thank you. It is access any different to accessibility, do you think? I think well, accessibility takes, it, it's kind of the thought really. 
behind uh, access really is that you have to things have to be accessible so you, uh, it's about making things accessible to people and realizing that people have, uh, have the, the needs the needs have to be met differently so uh, meeting access needs uh, could be as much as like uh, uh, it might be physical access needs in terms of uh, ramps uh, or uh, kind of like powered doors and stuff like that or it can be it could be simple as that how you present your information uh, is your language too complicated are you uh, could you could you be using different formats such as braille or things like that thank you is there any personal example where your access needs have had to be met to ensure that things are indeed accessible to you I think, yeah, some reasonable adjustments have been made because uh, my own parents have a lot of problems with sleep, so sometimes uh, it can be a bit of leeway for, um, for when I'm coming and I'm a bit groggy. Uh, it's been made. So. Thank you very much for your time. Pleasure. Hi. Could you please give me your full name and where you come from or who you work for? Well, my name's Colin Floyd and now I work for Greater Manchester Coalition of Disabled People. I'm the uh, one of the project workers for the Young Disabled People's Force. Could you please give me an idea of what access means to you? Access is a state where everybody should be able to do anything that they want. Within their own horizons, really. Um, that means that people should be able to get the support they want to live their lives, um, the aids, adaptions, um, and also access the state of mind. Uh, with, uh, sorry, I'm pausing here because uh, I'm trying to think about how to put this. Uh, it's about attitude. Access is about attitude a lot of the time. Uh, you can have a fantastic building, accessible building, for all sorts of people with different impairments, but staff attitudes. Staying, it's not an accessible building. Uh, does that answer some of your questions? Yes. Sorry about the long pause. There. It's okay. You've touched on accessibility there. Yeah. Does accessibility as far as your, your concern differ uh, from access? Accessibility differs from access. I've never thought about that. I don't know. Has ever asked me that question before? In terms of, I know it depends on the uh, sentence it's using, you know, like the overall content, but I'm just of the impression that. Obviously, everyone can supposedly access something according to society, yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. not accessible. No, that's true. Access can be just a buzzword. It can be a word on a form. Uh, it can be all sorts of things that people can strive to, but accessibility is really the real thing. It's what we strive for. We part of our uh, remit is to work with young people around their rights and accessibility to schools, provision, education. Um, accessibility is about getting there, access is about being there but like you say it's, uh, sometimes you don't get there because somebody puts it in. We're accessible, we have access and um, what they mean is it's their idea of access. Not Thank you. Hi, could you please tell me your name and where you come from or where you work or who you work for? Certainly, my name is Mark Watts. I'm clerical admin for Breakthrough UK Limited based in Ardwick. Thank you. Um, could you tell me what access means to you? Well, what it means to me is um, is that um, is that um, usually access is, is um, 
is for Afa to try to get 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 into somewhere. But um, but to, from, from being with Radio UK for a while, for quite a long time, at least eight years, is that um, I found that access is um is trying to be, be able to gain access to things, whether it's um, information or not just physical access, but also information and um and um as well as well as electronic information. Thank you for that. Would you therefore say that actress is different to accessibility, or are they the same? Well, um, it, it really depends on, on, on your perspective, really. Um, access could be, for example, um, trying to gain access to something, but accessibility is um, is, is working on, on, on trying to make sure that um, that um, your organisation or your service is, can be accessed by as many people as possible. Thank you. Um, it's in your pyramid definition. Can you tell me whether the, um, there is any way that uh, the organisation you work for has met your access or accessibility needs? Uh, I believe it has, really, to be honest. Um, I, I mean, um, the main major access I probably had myself was. Um, um, I guess it was really around um, trying, to, uh, trying to be able to um, understand things quite a bit because so, um, sometimes um, I guess the one thing that uh, made access issue I probably had was um, mostly shyness but um, British Blue UK helped me out with that. They helped me, to, helped me to come out of my shell so to speak so I'm not as shy as I used to be anymore. That's great. That's great. Thank you very much. Uh, no problem. It's back in like Hi, could you please tell me your name, where you come from or who you work for? Hi, my name's Richard Curry. I'm from Grimsby, but I live in Manchester, Hume in particular. And I do voluntary work for the Great Manchester Coalition of Disabled People. And I'm also involved in the Rights Control Trailblazer. Thank you. Could you tell me what access means to you? I think access could mean many different things really, but well, I think for me in particular, it could mean um, ensuring that the physical barriers that enable me to get from A to B in the built environment, so that's one form of access, and the barriers that I face. Another form of access would be uh, the social care package that enabled me to be part of my local community and uh, the society of Greater Manchester at large. And third, access would mean opportunities to paid employment or voluntary work. Thank you. Um, it seems like you've given me such a great definition of access. Could you possibly tell me whether you think that differs from accessibility? And if so, how? I think in terms of accessibility, um, it's really important to make a distinction. In terms of the definition I gave you of access, it was very broad and all encompassing. I think accessibility could mean um, technology and other equipment to ensure, for example, a task such as writing a document on a computer is a feasible task for somebody like myself or those with an impairment or disability to undertake. So it's ensure people have the equipment or support to undertake the tasks that they want to achieve. Thank you. Um, you seem to have a great um, idea as to what accessibility and access mean. Are there any examples you can give me where your access and your accessibility needs have been met? Well, for example, today in undertaking the, um, the People's Voice Media Training, I have a colleague over there who helps me um, to type uh, documents and to also um, navigate around the PC which enables me to overcome um, the physical barriers of me actually using the computer. So 
so I can use my time more effectively. Thank you very much for speaking to Thank me you. today.